today we've come to the Morton Hampstead Motor Museum which is kind of like in the middle of uh, Dartmoor it's only small but it looks really cool that I think oh it's a Wolseley so that is a very similar car to that I that I first learned to uh, drive on drove a Ford Poplar. That was the first car I learned in, and that was at school. For those who haven't met me before, my name is Frank, and what you're looking at today is my Retirement Madness project. Um, the collection is spread over the two floors, and when you get upstairs you'll find all bar three of our motorcycles. There's over 80 in the collection. I include scooters in that descriptor as well, despite Wait. some people taking issue with that. But if you actually look up the definition, a scooter is a walk through, uh, step through motorbike. There you go. Um, uh, so all that, all they're up there for you to see, and also upstairs, uh, you'll be glad to know a lot of our lighter weight cars. Um, and the earliest you'll find up there dates from 1905, a little Wolseley, the same make as the two-tone one out there, mm. but somewhat 60 odd years earlier. Um, and they built 52, like the little one you'll see up there. Of the 52, that is the only one left in existence, as far as we know. Faster than speed of XK150 SE FHC 1959 That's race, yeah, British Racing Green Fixed Head Cooper What a beautiful machine I mean, loving it Oh my god I think if ever I become a millionaire I'd love to do this Excuse me, but I've broken down.
context, in 2008, I had about three cars and three motorbikes. In 2008? Yeah, but I sold oh. a business in 2008. Yes, that gave uh, you the... I saved my retirement. What I decided to do with myself, but um, didn't buy this building until 2012, when it was derelict. Um, oh. I had to put a new roof on it. And I put a bit of mezzanine in when we first, in the first year, around the side there where the new posts are. Yeah. And we opened in 2013 with about 60 exhibits. And then I've done all the rest of the work on the building to build it up to what it is. Now. It's so incredible, it's absolutely yeah. incredible. We haven't even seen half of it what yet. What did you no. do before? I've done many things. I've been a lumberjack. Oh. I didn't wear high heels at the weekend. <laughs> only, only, only in a dress. Uh, <laughs> I fell over if I wore high heels. Um, I've got altitude sickness. Um, so no, uh, lumberjack, milkman, uh, ordered stuff to make televisions for a television company. Um, mm. Loads of things. And then I went and taught some of the most troubled and troublesome young people in the country for 20 odd years. And then I took on a failing independent provider for post-16 provision for autistic spectrum. Ah. Uh, and built that up from a failing provider to when I was employing 90 odd staff. And oh wow, so good for you. 70 young people, so. Good for you, yeah, well done. But I'd done 30 years residential then, so I thought I'd serve your time. And yeah, that out. wow. Yeah. River's gonna cry when you're gone Where will you go? Note the, uh, note the suicide shifter Hanging on, waiting for your call Quite like this bike, this thing Quite like the rudge River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. This bike is called a wolf. A wolf vixen. River's gonna cry when you are. River's gonna cry when you are. River's gonna cry when you're gone. A few memories, is it? <laughs> it just, isn't it just? Yeah. I never so heard. A friend of mine always said he said he said isn't hindsight wonderful? Uh, he said we had bikes years ago. He said sell them for fifty quid. He said if we only had to shed to stick them in, he said you you you'd end up sat on a gold mine. Same with the cars. Yeah. Half of the cars in the mu this museum I've owned at one time or another. Not these particular cars, but the model. Yeah. Yeah. I'd never heard of a wolf. I've never heard of it. No, I hadn't. No. Oh. 
I seen that one earlier. Yeah. I said the wife one, one, used to have one of these. What? What a pile of shit. Oh, was it? Well, there's no chassis. Oh. It's all box section. Yeah. You hit anything, and oh. yeah. 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 Just Compared to that. Yeah, it just uh, folded up on itself. Nice, lovely bike to ride. The suspension on it was lovely. Was it? But um, no, not. Uh, not the best bike in the world. This right. drag. What about a dragonfly? Have you ever been on one of them? No. Nah. No, never been on that. No. Nah. Been on that. Been on loads of Royal Enfields. My mate, I just said about Durham. Uh, we died. He died last year. Um, he was a big Royal Enfield man. Yeah, I like Royal yeah, Enfield. Yeah, he had bloody loads of them. Aerial. Yeah, aerial. Had aerial square for us, and and apart from the aerial leader, that's the only two. Two aerials I, I ever owned. Ah, never heard of that either. I mean, I've yeah. not heard of a dot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to do. Um, that's the uh, trials version. Yeah. And they used to do a motocross version. Mm. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> yeah, and same as this. This is a um, trials version. The mm. Triumph, and they again they done a they done a motocross version of that one. Yeah. So if you're thinking of coming to the Morton Hampstead Museum, um, car and bike museum, definitely worth the 10 quid. Um, absolutely loved it. Some of the um, stuff the guys got in the collection here are just, well, it's priceless really. So I think our colleagues want to go for a cup of tea now. So we're gonna head off, but very good. Fancy one of them, Andy? Very nice, How about that? Please knee, please knee out. Yeah. And I'm going to try and get this straight. Yeah, just slightly. Right. That should do it. That's it. That'll last for about a week. Thank you, sir. Right, that was weird. What's your name? I'm Frank. Frank. And Frank, you're the owner. I'm the. Yeah, I call myself a curator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so Frank's the curator of this amazing little uh, treasure trove of a motorcycle and motoring industry, what would you call it, memorabilia from yeah. yesteryear. <laughs> um, you, what year do you stop at? In what sense? Uh, Collection. Most modern. Yeah. This is the, that 80s uh, one upstairs, right. the, uh, the Sunbeam Talbot. It's the yeah. Sunbeam Tower, that's the mm. 80s, yeah. What about, no, the Escort and the called So they made, you know, the Cortines? <laughs> oh, but no, we're going with the romantic version. Yeah. Thank right, thank you very much, thank sir. Thank you very much. All the best. Have a good day. Thank we will be back at some point. <laughs> Definitely. There you go. What a museum. Lovely to see um, people put on collections like this and make sure you come and support this museum. You, it, it really is a good day out or good afternoon out. Very enjoyable. Go <laughs> our, our hosts, uh, yeah, they can't wait to get going for a cup of tea, can they, Liz? Oh, did you enjoy that? Yes, did. did you? Really good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Oh, we believed it Got swept away And it hurt so bad I thought Oh, he's got me Oh, he's got me like an